Hi my friends, today we model this part, as you can see, there are no significant problems, but there are some, we'll see by creating uh, the part. The drawing is this one. It has all dimensions and will create our new part by using these dimensions. So let's start. Standard millimeters, plane XY, and we start by drawing the revolution body. By drawing these lines and now close. The last line is a center line. This dimension is 60. We follow the drawing, yes. 60 is this dimension, then uh, 35, 15 diameters of 48 this hexagon of uh, 46 yes we use these dimensions if you remember this is 48 this is 35 15 and the diameter for creating uh, the hexagon is uh, somewhere here so we have to create that hexagon to take the, that dimensions. I, I mean this diameter from edge to opposed edge. This is unknown now. We know 46. So we draw a, a hexagon. No problem. something like this with this uh, line vertical we align the center with the line horizontally or this is better coincident between this line and this line 46 is this dimension, 46, so, and we place this line to contain this point. This is why we create the hexagon. Now I make it construction all. I place a dimension from the center point to the center in order to have uh, fully constrained when it's fully constrained. The other dimension is this one. This is 
interesting because it is threaded and we don't know by head how is the value for uh, this uh, gas one inch it is not one inch be sure of this this is for pipes and one inch is uh, the diameter of the inside of a pipe not this one this is not a pipe so this is about 33 millimeters we have to use uh, the table from inventor if you have a normal installation of uh, inventor 2021 you have to use this uh, uh, path and uh, there you will find the file thread point xls an excel file and we find this going to the bsp pipe threads for one inch the diameter is 33.249 let's use this dimension in our drawing the diameter of 33.249 okay escape and you see this is fully constant sketch so we can use revolve and this is not taken in consideration but only uh, this volume okay now let's apply here a fillet of two which is by default and then thread on this face not metric profile but ISO pipe threads and you see gas 1 because the diameter is corresponding to gas 1 1 inch we apply on all this uh, length okay here is a chamfer of 2 now we create the hexagon taking care of about the uh, orientation F7 polygon six sides center is this one and the position is that with uh, these two points on the same horizontal not vertical like in the sketch the dimension is 46 finished sketch and now we extrude only this with cut only the outside sectors with cut to this face to this face okay f6 let's uh, see the orientation home yes this is horizontal yes this face not vertical now we create these two extrusions one two the sketch for each one 
in the same uh, 2D sketch. Let's do this. The plane is XY. F7 and we start from this line we create an arc and another arc by keeping the left button of the mouse pressed all the time we project this line yes and we may coincident this point with this point and also coincident this line with this end I make the same position here so and if we take a look to the drawing we see that dimensions are radius 7.5 distance 1 millimeter from the face and this must result this uh, arc let's see oh there are also there is also this dimension 35 so 35 but let's start with the radius here which is 7.5 then distance of 35 from the center to the center point 35 this is tangent one millimeter from this to the end of the projected line of one that's all and there is another dimension oh no one is not here control Z one is from here to the point one and on the same vertical is this center with this end point. Now we have fully constrained sketch up. Let's see what is the situation down. Down there is a distance of 19, radius of 8.5, distance of 37, thickness of 10, radius 6. Yes we create this other sketch to do this we project this line we project this line we start from its end to the right then keeping pressed the mouse button we go here then somewhere here another radius and we end not here but on the center we close the line and we draw this two must be uh, construction lines 
and we draw this line. Dimensions are radius 8.5, then uh, 19 from this arc to this face, 19. The distance from the same arc to the center point is uh, 37. This is 10. This is radius 6. I hope to have tangency, but we don't have. So I make this vertical line and I apply tangency here. Good. We still have a missing dimension. One dimension needed, which is this was full, fully constrained. What is that? We use automatic auto dimension apply to see what is the problem. The problem is that this is not tangent. Remove done tangent not this then why let me see what is there is a small line here yes I delete this line I extend this here and we still have one dimension needed which dimension tangency now we accept this uh, correction from inventor here is uh, another arc let's see what are the dimensions radius 2.5 tangent to this line and one millimeter here radius 2.5 so we create an arc like this point point arc trim this line and this line no dimension was missed radius 2.5 2.5 dimension from this line to the left quarter point of 1 and tangency here that's all fully constrained I draw a line from this end point to the center to here and another line here and the closing line as you can see now we have two areas one two to be extruded extrusion must be 28 up and 18 down Let's apply this finish sketch, extrude. We have to select what to extrude. This is symmetrical, both are symmetrical with the value of 28 plus this 
symmetrical with a value of 18. Yes. Now we can create the interior revolution. But let's uh, uh, finalize uh, with this extrusion because there are some cuts. One, two, radius three. With this dimension, interesting dimension, this point and this point, which are on a side of the hexagon, is uh, a dimension with 15. We have to respect this dimension. We create a sketch on this face, F7, we draw an arc like this one radius 3 we make this arc tangent with the projected arc here and we place that dimension half of it from here but I have to uh, create this end point so I don't start with dimension but with split we split this line with this line let's project the line <laughs> one after another we project the line we split the arc here and we can create now the dimension from the center point to this very point of uh, 15 divided by 2. We don't create dimensions by heart. Now there is a gap here. We have to add another arc from this end point to this end point like this and we apply equal between this and this why equal because we want to be a continuation of this arc yes so they have the same radius with the center in the center point or projection of center point good now we create a line, we project the y-axis, we make it uh, construction line, but let me connect the ends because this will be the cut, yes, this contour will be the cut. Now, mirror of uh, everything here about this vertical line, apply. Done. Finish sketch. Extrude. We extrude this and the continuation and also here this and the continuation with cut all the way outside okay so from this face we created two cuts as in the drawing now we create a revolution internal volume we use this uh, plane F7 dimensions are 
here a conical face and this contour to be extracted cut it from the main volume take a look to the dimensions 12 30 40 radius 2 and 21 yes good we use that dimensions line from here from the center point to somewhere here but not in a point in the air on the vertical of course then a slope line horizontal line arc line we continue to this green point which is the center of the uh, frontal circle good this is uh, center line 40 is the diameter of this and 14 is the angle between these two lines 14 30 is this diameter 2 the radius here and 21 the last diameter so as you can see we still have two dimensions needed maybe a tangency let's verify this it, it is the other one okay then let's see auto dimension apply oh 12 i forgot 12 here remove done there is another problem here but let me apply 12 between these two and then we have to see what is the problem here I don't see a problem once again apply an angle <laughs> this is an angle this line is not vertical I place the point in the air so I apply vertical for this line this means that it is parallel with some other line let's see this point must be on the same vertical with this point and it is not let me use the Solomon's law by cutting <laughs> that uh, line and extending the other one and connecting them here it happens my friends it happens I'm uh, in a pressure here to make everything okay yes but as you can see we have problems sometimes fully constrained finish sketch revolve cut everything is well defined so the cut is created okay
F6. Now there are two holes here and some fillets to be applied. The holes are diameter 7, diameter 8. Good. Hole, this face, this center, diameter 7 is already here and through. Plus, this face, this center, and diameter 8. Okay. This is the part. Let's apply that uh, fillets. Here is 4. Like here also and here. The rest are not to be placed. Okay, this one was created in the sketch and this one the same. F6. Let's take a look, a final final look to the dimensions radius is 4 4 here also 4 here that's all 79 is 19 plus 60 okay radius 3 oh there is another 4 millimeters radius here Yes, this is radius 4 and radius 4. This creates a new a new fillet uh, feature here. If you don't want to have two, since uh, the radius is the same, you can apply Control Z, double click on the previous fillet which has the same radius and select that two lines yes now we have uh, only one feature with all uh, the radiuses or radii oh there is another thing you see I, I feel that this is not finished. Uh, there is a, a chamfer here which create this conical yes uh, cut to the uh, hexagon. So we use this plane F7 to create here a line starting from this face to this face then we connect it with the corner and we apply dimensions project geometry axis X X axis which is a center line then dimension of uh, 46 the dimension of hexagon and 30 degrees 30 degrees finish sketch revolve not adding material but cutting yes all around and you see what happens 
Okay. This is the part. We apply a material. Steel cast. A general aspect of also steel cast. And some faces and holes to be machined like this all I keep press the shift key here when I select faces these are machined also this but you have your time to apply other appearances this is the part let's see what are its properties or I properties physical update you have here the volume and so on that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye